It's changed my life in the ways of first and foremost, just building a foundational awareness, an awareness of my own internal patterns and processes and reactions and an awareness of the world around me. I feel like I have developed such a greater ability to be with myself in silence and actually enjoy it, um, not needing to distract myself. I love going for a walk and not bringing my phone and just being able to be in nature. I would say most importantly, though, being able to create a greater pause in between the trigger and the response. So often we have the, you know, the trigger, something that activates us. A partner does something that annoys us or a parent says something and we immediately react. That a reaction is a window to our wound. It's, it's our, you know, past conditioning or maybe something that once kept us safe. And so being able to create a a greater pause before we react so that instead we can look at that reaction and say, is that actually how I feel right now? Or am I bringing old wounds into new experiences and being able to consciously uh, have a response instead of that reaction? So I would say that's the biggest, first and foremost, the biggest uh, shift that I've noticed is just my own ability to manage my reactions, not to suppress them, but rather just to to manage them. Yeah. I love that. That's such a huge game changer that I don't think a lot of people are have gotten to. And it's, it's good to know, like, no, I, I know what you're saying. Cause when you practice meditation, you practice being the observer of your emotions. And so when something triggers you, even though you still feel the emotion, instead of like, reacting, like being angry right away or being, you know, like you, you take that moment to like see, like you observe like, Oh, like this is what I'm feeling. And then it's, it's that pause, it's that distance, right. From you and your, like, you're not your emotion, but you're like observing your emotion that that's really powerful because you realize that it doesn't control you. Totally. And obviously, of course we're human. And I certainly have moments where I react and I don't think it's ever the goal to be perfect at it, but rather even just sometimes noticing that we did react. That's the practice too. Like noticing that we made, slipped into an old pattern is part of healing the old pattern. And so Mm -hmm. not, you know, beating ourselves up when we do um, react in a way that, you know, this may be our old way of being, but rather just being like, oh, interesting. Okay. That's okay. What can I do next time? How can I be more aware of that? And having compassion for ourselves when we do slip into those, those older ways mm-hmm. of being. 